Sometimes you feel sad to be left out of a big debate. This is not one of those sometimes. In an interview with Rolling Stone, President Obama voiced the opinion that Fox News is a destructive force in our society. On the other hand, the left hand in this case, Obama spokesman Bill Burton said the president believes MSNBC commentators Keith Olbermann and Rachel Maddow provide, quote, an invaluable service to that same society and democracy. So, according to the president, this is destructive. Everything that is getting pushed through Congress, including this health care bill, are transforming America. And they are all driven by President Obama's thinking on one idea, reparations. He's bankrupting the country. He is the most incompetent president to ever hold that office. And again, according to the White House, this is an invaluable service. And what we're seeing out of this governor of New Jersey is just go to the money, cut whoever you have to cut. There is no ramification for any of this because he's a cold-hearted fat slob. In short, in Scott Brown, we have an irresponsible, homophobic, racist, reactionary, ex-new model, teabagging supporter of violence against women and against politicians with whom he disagrees. Got it? <laughs> All right, let's check back with our smart panel for their thoughts on how the president defines friend and Oh, uh, Eric Erickson, I want to go to you first on this one. Uh, why do you think the president of the United States, and to be clear, the president went after Fox in an interview with Rolling Stone. It was his spokesman, Bill Burton, who then drew a, drew a delineation, essentially saying when the president says he's mad at the left, it's not with MSNBC, it's more with people in the blogosphere. <laughs> you know, the president, one of the things, striking things in the Rolling Stone interview, it was talking about Fox News' worldview. Uh, Mr. President, a whole lot of people watch that station. In fact, take Glenn Beck, for example. A couple of weeks ago, more people were watching Glenn Beck than any other show on cable at that time. If, if you got a problem with that worldview, you got a problem with a massive amount of American people. And he may not like that. But, you know, this is the great thing about our democracy. We have something called the First Amendment. Uh, people can watch Fox. People can watch CNN. People can watch MSNBC or none of the above. Uh, at my house, we typically are watching Disney or Nick Jr. <laughs> Nick Jr. See, you, you're surprised I'm old. I'm surprised you're watching Nick Jr. <laughs> uh, Gloria, I want to ask you this question because you're, you're a reporter. Uh, what happened to this? This is the president of the United States. It's May 1st. It's the University of Michigan. He's giving the commencement speech, and, and Professor Obama is trying to tell Americans of all political persuasions, listen to each other. For if we choose only to expose ourselves to opinions and viewpoints that are in line with our own, studies suggest that we become more polarized, more set in our ways. Well, I think he's describing what's happening in this country right now. I think now. he's right. In that he's, commencement he's, speech, he's, he's right. He's absolutely right in that uh. commencement speech, but right now he's got a tough midterm election going on, and what he's playing is base politics. He's trying to get his voters out to vote. Uh. And if he's got to talk about Fox News, He'll talk about Fox News because his base doesn't really watch Fox News. His base uh, would prefer another network. I'm shocked. But there's two sides of that coin. The more he talks about Fox News, I bet you tonight and probably tomorrow night, Fox News ratings will continue to go up and talk about rallying his base. The Republican base is going to get rallied up even more. I mean, this is just red meat to both sides. But if you take a look at mathematically, Fox News, as Eric mentioned a few moments ago, has much more red meat on their side than the Democrats do.